Judy Black, the junior from uh, NBC's The Office. She's a good friend of the show. She's lovely, and she smells a little bit like lavender, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Ah, she's really very, very, very attractive. And when you get up close, she has a shimmering quality about her. Yeah, shiver, yeah. Please <laughs> welcome the beautiful Angela Kinsey, everybody. <laughs> Keep case Tom Cruise I never know. Know. I know. I know. Okay. Kim and I would have to fight for it. Yeah. All right. I'm okay, right? You met Tom Cruise? No, I haven't. I really want to because I hear he's all about eye contact. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I just want yeah. kind of like. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what's interesting though? I met him briefly and I thought I was ready for him to be crazy and a jerk and he's not. He's, he's lovely. Nice. He's very, very nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, he is. He is. He's lovely. No, I have a feeling I would want him to be my best friend. And be like, Tom, margaritas. And he'd be like, Margaritas? Okay. Yeah, let's okay. go. Yeah. Do you like drinking margaritas? That's my, my favorite cocktail. No, I'm not pina coladas? Big... You don't like pina coladas? And getting drunk in the rain? Yeah. It's not, I think it's good for walks in the rain, but you sing it any way you want to sing it, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And get drunk in the rain. Like four words to every song. I'm I'm horrible on a road trip because I'm like, then the rain, <laughs> pina. Yeah, but the thing is, on a road trip, you don't want somebody that knows all the words to the you song. Don't? No, you want I on a road trip, I want silence. Oh, oh. Silence. Well, you wouldn't like me. Not Are you a big singer? Do you like to sing? I'm not, but I like to make up songs about anything. So it'd be like sitting on a chair next to my friend Craig. <laughs> It's not, it's not, see, I told, it's not an attractive quality. Actually, you know what, I, it melted my cold Caledonian heart. I, it, uh, what have you been up to? Have you been down uh, Pilates or something? No, I haven't been doing anything. You just look great. You look well, good. Have you been on vacation or something? I did go to San Diego. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah, a lot of people like San Diego, and yeah. I'm one of them. I loved it. I took a train there. The whole thing. Did you sit on the train going, sitting on a train, going to San Diego? I did. I was like, eating a peanut oh, on Amtrak. Yeah. I don't um, think it's Amtrak going to San Diego. It's, uh, it's not? But no, it's Coast. Coast track Pacific. I know. Well, I really made it. Like, I, I drove there, and then there was nowhere to park, and I had my kid, and, and Anna, who, like, helps me, who's awesome, right. and we were running. She and just helps you? She helps me with my kid. Oh, I see. <laughs> She's like family. Right. Um, anyway. Life right. family? Where she borrows so money family. from you? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, it was like kind of a crazy trip because there was nowhere to park mm. and I and we were going to miss the train. So I was like, I got this. And for some reason I put like eight things of bottled water in a backpack. So I was like, we must have enough to drink on the train. Oh, you must, do. Yeah. And I'm running, like trying to make it to the train station and there's like five blocks of hedge. And I'm like, I can't run around this hedge. I must go through it. I must. And like these two guys, like hipster, like bureau kind of hacky sack guys, they're like walking towards me and they're like, hey, and I saw the hole, like right by them, and I'm like, here's my chance! And I dove in the head <laughs> with my backpack of water, and I got hung on a gas pipe that I couldn't see, and so I'm hung on the gas pipe, and it cut my back, and I got through it, and I ran, and I had a meltdown in the train station, like I threw my bag down. Where's your kid? Well, <laughs> Okay. With Anna. like, I help her. Yeah. And Anna didn't notice that, like, somehow holding Isabel had, like, pulled her shirt down so her boobs were out. It was, like, chaos at the train oh, station. This is the greatest story ever. I know. It's got you a gas pipe, it's got hipsters, and it has boobies. I know. Amazing. And then I had, I had, like, a crazy meltdown. I, like, drew, I was, like, they were, like, track 11, two minutes. We're, like, at track one, and I know we have to run down this long thing. And I just took all my bags and I threw them on the ground and I was like, Fuck this yeah, shit! <laughs> Sorry! And I, people were staring. <laughs> and then, but wait, then I had this, and all this shirt down, and then I had this moment and I was like, You're not gonna beat me! I just dove through a hedge. And then I gathered Isabel up and all of our bags and we ran and we made it and it 
it was like, we got on the train and everyone's very quiet, like with their laptops. They're like, I'm a business lady. I go to San Diego for business. And we get on and I have leaves in my hair and like soot on my face and on his boot. And we're like, we're not in that. We're not in that. Woo! It's a true story. Fantastic. It really happened. Do you need a hug? I do. All right. I'll give you a little bit of a hug. Oh, shut up. You do smell very nice. I do? Yeah. Thank you. you should think about getting your own fragrance going. Oh, yeah. yeah it's kind of lavender smell. There's not enough of that out there, like celeb perfume. No, no. Yeah. The ones I like is when sportsmen do it. You're like, oh, do you want to smell like Michael Jordan? Not really. Yeah. No. I'm yeah. good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. It's... No. And they're always like, like it's like, whisper. Yeah. <laughs> what is your perfume you're wearing, though? It's very nice. I, I honestly don't even know anymore. I put it on. Do you just ago. excrete beautiful I, it, smells? I, I, I think that uh, I think certain women do that. They just smell fantastic, and you're one of them. Well, thank you. Yeah. I I took my daughter to swim class, and there was some sunscreen. That that'll be it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I reached the point in my life where I smell like pee. Oh. And vitamins. Oh, uh, yay! Well, you know. Winner. Yeah. I sit on the train like I smell of pee and vitamins. <laughs> but at least my boobs are in. Yeah. What? No, not your. No, no. You don't. You don't have man boobs. I don't actually. You don't. No, you know why? No. Cheerleading. That's right. <laughs> Do that. No, I, I. Is that attractive to ladies? Man, man boobs. I'm not gonna. Because lady boobs are attractive to men. I just right. Their boobs. Um, I'm not gonna judge a man boob. I'm not going to judge well, they it. They don't seem to have the same aesthetic fascism that men have about that kind no. of thing. It's, it's so, I'm very grateful for it, too. Women seem to be more eclectic in their choice of uh, visuals. Or maybe they just are resigned to the fact that... Yeah, we just talk behind your back. That's what we do. We're well, like, okay. you're I'm a great guy. <laughs> oh, my God, man. <laughs> I mean, men, men don't like that. We're just grateful if you just hang out with us when you're there. Exactly. You know, like, like, you know, uh, well, I have sex with them, and we go out for food together, and, you know... When? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You know, she talks about you behind your back. I don't care. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. So, I was about to be really dirty. I don't know what's happened to me. My daughter's here. I should clean it up. No, no, be dirty. What were you no. going to say? No, you're... No, no, you must. Like, behind my back. I was like, that's what she said. I don't... That's horrible. That's horrible. No, I, no, 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 it's fine. Sorry, we're gearing up for our season. I think all, like, Michael Scottisms are emerging. No, 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 no. I think you're quite a dirty girl. <laughs> Colors and shades, um, and opportunities. That's it. See, I raised my case. That's exactly what I was saying. Wait, is someone at the door? Oh, okay, if you want. No. Who's at the door? We're out of time though, so uh, oh. yeah, what do you want to do? You want to do the uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, uh, or you want to big catch prize? Big catch prize. The time is a Time once again for the big catch prize. In quarters. All right. I feel like an old cowgirl, like, I'm going to get this at the saloon. Oh, you can do that. You can, you can take it to the saloon and enjoy 50 bucks worth of... What is it you like again? Margaritas. margaritas. <laughs> That'll get you uh, two margaritas in yeah. L.A. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, hmm. Let's see what we've got here. All right. Uh, oh, you can. Uh, you want to answer a question or guess what's in my box? Guess what's in your box. Oh, okay then. Uh, I imagine a box. I don't know what's in it. Jeff's the only one who knows. If you get it right, great. If you get it wrong. Okay. Okay. No pressure. Um, how about that? Wait, wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. I have to imagine the box first. Oh. Okay, I've imagined the box. Jeff, do you have the box? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you not like Jeff? I like Jeff. Jeff, I got to meet you one time. That's right. That was really yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when, when you were being repaired, yeah. Angela uh, stepped I into your body. I into your pod. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, I got it. That memory eraser stick. The thing from Men in Black. It's that thing. You wanted it. You're such a dirty girl. Jack. What a 
is in my box. It is the memory eraser. <laughs>